Welcome to the lecture series of mechanics of solids. In this lecture, we are going to derive an equation for moment of inertia for a circular lamina. Let us start it. So in the figure, this is a circular lamina which is having radius r. This is the center of circular lamina. Here we want to work out the moment of inertia of the circular lamina about its x-axis and y-y axis but we will start with first z-z axis that is also called polar moment of inertia. So first of all we will find polar moment of inertia. Polar moment of inertia is the moment of inertia of any body or any lamina about the axis perpendicular to the plane of that lamina. So this is the x-axis and y-y axis that is centroidal axis in the plane of lamina but z-z axis will be perpendicular to the plane of lamina and we want to work out the moment of inertia of this lamina about that z-z axis. Means first we will work out polar moment of inertia for the circular lamina. Consider a thin strip which is having thickness dx which is at distance x from the center of lamina. So this elementary strip is having radius r and the thickness of this elementary strip is dx. So first of all we will work out the area of this elementary ring. The radius of this elementary ring is x so its circumference will be 2 pi x so this is the circumference of this elementary ring and thickness of elementary ring is dx so multiplying this circumference with thickness will give the area of this elementary ring now let us work out the moment of inertia of this elementary ring about zz axis So moment of inertia of this elementary ring about z-z axis that is equal to area into distance into distance. Area that is dA and distance of this elementary strip from the z-z axis is x. So it will be dA into x into x. Here equating the value of dA in this equation so that will be like this. Now let us work out moment of inertia of this whole lamina about zz axis. For that we will integrate the moment of inertia of this circular ring in the limit of 0 to radius r. Integrating this in the limit of 0 to r that will give the moment of inertia of the complete circular lamina about zz axis. So izz will be equal to the integration of the moment of inertia of the element strip in the limit of 0 to r. In this equation the constant term has been kept out of the integration and it will simplify like this. Here the integration of x cube that will equal to x raised to 4 by 4 the limit is 0 to r so here the limit has been applied and finally izz become pi r raised to 4 by 2 here instead of r diameter d has been kept we know that r is equal to d by 2 z will become like this and at the simplification of that the value of izz has been obtained as pi by 32 d raised to 4. So this is the moment of inertia of the circular lamina about zz axis. That is also called polar moment of inertia. Now let us work out ixx and iyy. Here we will use perpendicular axis theorem for that. So according to perpendicular axis theorem izz that is equal to ixx plus iyy but 
the circular section is symmetrical about all axes in the plane of lamina so i x x and i y y will be same here so simplifying this i z z that is equal to i x x plus i x x because i x x and i y y are same so i z z will be equal to 2 i x x so it can be said i x x is equal to i z z by 2 i x x and i y y are same here equating the value of i z z that is pi by 32 d raised to 4 so finally the value of i x x and i y y has been obtained as pi by 64 d raised to 4 of moment of inertia about i x x i y y and i z z will be very useful during solving the problem Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any doubt or query, please write in the comment box. I will be there to help you. Thank you. Thank you very much.